A young Brazilian woman filmed the moment she was shot and killed by her boyfriend, who allegedly told cops she was shot by a man on a motorcycle. The dramatic footage shows Diego Fonseca, 27, standing near a window and aiming the weapon at Ely Alves, 23, at a residence in the central city of Jadai on Sabe. Alves could be heard in the video laughing and telling Fonseca, go hunt, do it. Wow, so delicious. He pulled the trigger and sent crashing to the floor before the recording came to an end. Fonseca rushed her to hospital desk clinicas, where she died before doctors tended to her. Authorities were called to the medical facility and interviewed Fonseca, who claimed that two individuals pulled up to them on a motorcycle and that one of them fired two shots. Striking Alves, local news outlets reported. The investigating officers noticed he was contradicting himself and took him to the police station, where they revised Alves' cell phone and discovered the video of the shooting. Fonseca was arrested on a murder charge. His weapon, a 380 caliber pistol, was recovered near where he had parked his car outside the hospital. Al's mother told Brazilian news outlet G1 that Fonseca approached her and promised to find the killers. I found out that she was in the hospital through him, Olicia and Al said. At the medical center, he hugged me and said, mother-in-law, whoever did this to her will pay. She said that they had dated for one year and seven months, and that her daughter wanted out of the relationship. Olisi and Alves recalled her daughter telling her hours before she was murdered that she was going break up with Fonseca because they it was not going to work out. She said her daughter prepared a meal for her boyfriend and told her, Mom, I'm going over there and I'll be back soon. Olisi and Alves recalled her daughter sought treatment at a hospital last year after Fonseca assaulted her. She received stitches on the arm. In a separate incident, also in 2022, Fonseca beat her daughter after she found her speaking with an ex-boyfriend. There were a few times when they argued and she arrived with some bruises. I thought it was bad to interfere, but it was difficult, she said. She didn't say much to me because she knew I her pain. A friend also told G1 that Alves had taken a break from her abusive relationship with Fonseca and advised her to go to the police after Fonseca had threatened to kill her. She shared a text message from a month ago in which she told Alves, If he threatens you and hurts you again get an order of protection. This is how most femicides happen. No one believes a person is capable until they see that they are dead. She said that Fonseca tried to enter a party uninvited and tried to confront Alves, but was stopped from doing so. On separate occasion he broke into Alves' mother's home while she was taking a shower.